Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 17th Annual Eminence Awards. My name is Kate Lesko, President and CEO of the Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce, and I will be your host and MC this evening. So first, we'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to join us tonight. There's no way to sugarcoat it. It's been a rough couple of months. We think taking some time to highlight the good that exists and persists in our community is a great way to fill our cups, share our strength, and lift up and recognize our brightest stars. This evening's theme certainly matches the moment, the business of doing good. Now more than ever, we're challenged to bring the best version of ourselves to our work, to our families, to our colleagues, and to our community. The finalists you will meet this evening were nominated and selected from a larger pool of nominees before the COVID-19 pandemic changed our lives, but we are confident that you have seen them, their businesses, and their organizations stepping up to the plate and helping us remember who we are as a community and reminding us that we can get through this together. Greater Nashua, we are so proud of everything that you have done and continue to do in support of each other. Tonight is our night to celebrate our accomplishments, our chamber, and each other. So thank you to our presenting sponsor, Oracle, a leading employer in Nashua and one of the top sponsors of the Eminence Award since 2009 for their continued support. We'd also like to thank our supporting sponsor, Eastern Bank, and our sustaining sponsor, Enterprise Bank. During the, an evening celebrating the business of doing good, these businesses are exemplary models, leading in their work, business management, and community involvement. Thank you for your support of the Chamber. Before we get started, Enterprise Bank would like to share a message with all of us. Hello everyone, I'm Peter Reno, Community Banking Director for the State of New Hampshire for Enterprise Bank. And it's such a great pleasure for us to be one of the sponsors of this year's Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce Eminence Awards. I wanna thank Kate and all the staff at the Chamber for holding this event virtually through these challenging times. On behalf of Enterprise Bank, we especially wanna thank all those who are going above and beyond to keep our community safe our first responders, our medical and healthcare professionals, everyone in retail and in the service sector who are there to help us through these challenging times. I especially want to congratulate all of the finalists for the awards this year, and particularly our own Allison Isaacson, one of the finalists for Young Professional of the Year. So on behalf of Enterprise Bank, stay safe, and we hope we see you all soon. Thank you so much for those thoughtful words, Peter. It's time to get this party started. All right, before we get to the awards program, we're excited to kick off the evening with our keynote speaker, Rebecca Hamilton, co-CEO of Badger Companies based in Gilson, New Hampshire in the Monadnock region. Thank you to Acapella Technologies for sponsoring our keynote this year. Matt Mercier, owner of Acapella and a member of our board of directors will introduce Rebecca. Hi, I'm Matt Mercier from Acapella Technologies. Our company is pleased and proud to be the sponsor for Rebecca's keynote address today for a lot of reasons. WS Badger is a New Hampshire based company, second generation family owned and operated that's known worldwide. Add to that the fact that in an era when companies would have you believe that they have a team friendly environment, WS Badger's commitment to their team and the environment in which they work is without peer. Thank you then for your attention and Enjoy Rebecca's speech. All right, Rebecca, we're going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me and for hosting this event uh, virtually in such a, an interesting time. I have to say, I was, I was thinking about what I was going to say earlier this week. And what I started out thinking about was what an honor it is to be invited to an award ceremony focused on individuals, businesses, nonprofits that are actually doing good in the community. And for a business chamber to focus on that. I remember when I was younger, I had kind of this vision of business being something that was kind of the, the evil empire that if you're gonna do good, you can only do it through government or nonprofit or volunteering, but that business didn't have that component. And in today's day and age, businesses actually more and more can be a force for good. And so today I think it's a really exciting combination to have the winners be focused on 
people who are in the business community, individuals, people who are nonprofits. And so it's, it's really quite an honor to be here. Badger Company, for those of you who are not familiar, it is family owned and operated. Uh, and it was founded by my parents uh, back in the early 90s. And originally our, our business was founded as uh, a business to create a product that could heal the cracked hands for somebody who is working outside. And it was based on my father being a carpenter out in the woods and having cracked hands in the winter and just wanting to create a product that would solve that problem. We didn't at the beginning set out to be a business that was going to be a mission driven business, that was going to be an activist business or even a business that was specifically focused on doing good in the world. We were just a family based business and had a product and we we're gonna try and sell it and see what happens. But over the years, what happened was because we were a family business, our mission really developed out of the values that we had as a family. And so when we were a much smaller business, those values lived in each individual family member and in each of the employees, but it wasn't settled into the business in any form or structure or any way that uh, was really uh, written into the business structure. And so as we grew, we reached this point where we realized that in order to be a business that was actually going to live our mission, we had to find ways to build the mission, mission into the DNA of the business. So back in uh, around 2011, Badger was growing rapidly and we were expanding and building a new building. And for those of you who are in a small company, it's really easy to be um, focused on doing good when you have a small number of employees and it's just a very much of a community feel. But the concern is that when you grow as a company, how do you keep that mission in your business? How do you ensure that that mission doesn't kind of, you don't have scope creep of the mission as you grow as a business. And so for us, what the really important turning point for us was to become a B Corp. For those of you who don't know what a B Corp is, a B Corp is a business that actually, it's a, a business that joins a community of other businesses with the focus of trying to do good in the world. And so one aspect of being a B Corp is that you have to take an impact assessment and measure each of the different things that you do to impact your community. And then the second thing that you do is you sign a declaration of interdependence. And what that means is that you're agreeing as a business to be part of a larger business community that's focused on having some sort of positive impact. And then the last thing that you do is to change your articles of incorporation to include your social and environmental mission into the articles of incorporation alongside your fiduciary duty. And in that way, you're building your mission into the DNA of the business. And so that was really a turning point for us where we went from having a mission that was very aspirational, something that we wanted to do and strive toward to actually having very tangible uh, aspects of the business that were based around our mission. So today we have about 100 employees. We're a manufacturing facility out in Gilson, New Hampshire, uh, also a chamber member out here. And uh, one of the reasons that I think we we're invited here is that we have a lot of unique practices that we've developed as a business. And these practices, didn't happen overnight. As I said, they, they happened over many years. Uh, and they happened oftentimes because we would have one employee ask that uh, we offer a benefit or, or we'd see an issue out in the world that we felt like that we needed to weigh in on. And I think where Badger is similar to many of the winners here tonight is that it's not so much what we've done, but the intention behind it that's led us to be a mission-driven business that's important. And so for us, uh, what we've looked at is kind of a few different guiding principles. One of them is that money is a fuel and not a goal. So we are a for-profit business. We need to be profitable in order to do the things that we care about in the world. 
but we don't see money as a goal. And this comes back to where we had to change the articles of incorporation, change our actual fiduciary duty from maximizing profits and return earnings to shareholders to look at our mission. So money is not the goal, but it's the fuel. It's what allows us to do good in the world. And this is something that I think is really special about businesses in being able to do good is that we're self-funded. We're funded by the products that were created and that money comes in and that money allows us to run a business that is a positive business for our employees, that it's a positive business for the community and that hopefully we can also do something out in the world for our greater customer base and for the environment. So internally, a lot of the things that we focused around are family friendly workplace practices. Uh, a big one that I think is really important is that we support parents bringing their babies to work for the first six months. This is something that I think is an underrated thing that, that many, many businesses could actually do that wouldn't cost a lot of money, that makes an incredible difference to each individual who ends up choosing to take that benefit. Uh, we currently have a childcare center we have organic lunches that we have to feed to our employees. And uh, we have paid family medical leave that we offer. And, and that's something that I think is really important. And that's something that we see as a value here at Badger, but is also something that we've advocated for out here in the state of New Hampshire and also federally. We've looked at our business as a platform to both do the good that we feel like we want to see, but also to then use our actions here uh, to amplify our voice, to be able to support legislation. That's really important. Likewise, we have a starting living wage for all of our employees, and we've advocated for policy that supports a federal living wage. Here in the state of New Hampshire, we follow the federal minimum wage which means that our minimum wage here is far lower than all of the surrounding states. And as a business, we have the ability to actually use our voice to help push legislation forward. And so that's one of the important platforms that we've had throughout the years is figuring out ways that we can use the things that we do internally to amplify our voice, to push for legislation that would allow and support other businesses and individuals to have those same benefits federally or, or in the state here. The other big thing that we've been focused on, especially in, in recent years, is around climate change. This is something that if we believe in being a family-friendly business focused on the children of our community, then we can't possibly not also look at climate change as something that we have to address as a business. And so uh, what we did in December of last year is we joined 500 other B Corps at the UN summit in Spain in committing to reach net zero emissions by 2030. I still don't exactly know how we're going to do that. We have a, a roadmap, but it's an ambitious goal. But we felt that that's the kind of goal that businesses here in the state of New Hampshire and throughout the country and throughout the world need to be making because we can't just rely on our government to be leading the way. It's up to individuals, it's up to businesses to also be part of the change that we need to see. And so for us, that was making a, a public commitment and figuring out how we can actually follow up on that. The day after we made that commitment, we signed a commitment to go completely solar for our manufacturing facility out here in New Hampshire, uh, which we're actually going to uh, put the switch in about three weeks. So we've partnered with a uh, local B Corp, Revision Energy, also here in New Hampshire. And uh, we've put in a 1400 panel solar array, ground mount and on the roof. And so we'll be able to be completely powered by the sun, which is very exciting. And it's something that we're very proud of it's also a fraction of the step of where we need to go. And so as a business, when we look at the advocacy work that we're doing, what we're trying to figure out is how can we emulate the business that we wanna see? How can we advocate for the policy that will support that on a greater platform? 
and basically following our, our general philosophy and principles, looking at each choice that we make as a business and asking the question, is this something that's positive? Uh, a few years ago, we were working on a product. It was actually a tattoo bomb. And we had created the artwork for the product. It's actually a badger that is out at sea at the helm of a ship. And the badger has on a little nightcap or a watch cap, and there's a storm behind the badger and a beautiful sunrise coming up through these waves. Uh, and if you're familiar with badger products, you'll know that we have a badger picture illustration in each product. We have a whole range of different skincare products, but they're unique because they have these illustrations. And the illustrations are actually something that we put a lot of thought into. And we put a lot of thought into that because that's part of putting um, good, good energy out into the world and sharing a little bit of our philosophy. And so when we're looking at this badger, it's based on um, a story from, from my younger years when I was a sailor. And the badger is going out from a very challenging time and into this beautiful sunrise. And my father looked at the badger and he said, what that means is uh, kindness. That what we need to say with this product is that kindness is our guiding compass. And so when I come back to this idea of, of what guides badger as we make choices, and I mentioned earlier that a lot of our choices come from this idea of money is a fuel, not a goal, and that we have a higher purpose to generate good or to create some positive impact in the world. The way that we're doing that is through guiding by kindness. And so for every individual, every business, every nonprofit, if you're taking that lens and you're saying, what is the kind approach that I can have, regardless of whether or not you're focused on the environment or family friendly or any other number of things, that lens of kindness or that compass that guides you with kindness is going to help you to make decisions that have a positive impact in the world. And so that's been something that has led us to many of these things, whether it's choosing to have the organic lunches each day at Badger or choosing to make a commitment that we still don't know how we're going to reach that, but we know that we've, we've made our first steps and we know that we will find that way because that's what's needed. And I think that whatever is in the future, uh, we'll continue to look at those lenses and try and figure out how we can make choices that have a positive impact and are using kindness as our guiding compass. So kind of coming back to tonight uh, and this event, I think it's really admirable for the chamber to be taking the entire evening and focusing on businesses and individuals that have been nominated and chosen because of the good that they're doing in the world. And again, I come back to this idea that, you know, in a, in a very maybe old fashioned or outdated sense, oftentimes business is not thought of as doing good, but that's changing now. And this event is one of those indicators that that's changing, that that's not the future. And that what we value in business or what business values in the community is the positive impact that we can each have. So I'm again very honored to be here tonight and uh, really congratulations to each of the individuals and businesses that won the awards tonight. And thank you for, for having me. Thank you so much for being here with us, Rebecca. Um, I've been a Badger fan for a very long time, and so it's great that you were able to join us, and we're very lucky to have you here in the Granite State doing as much good as you're doing, so thank you again. And thanks to Acapella Technologies for making that inspiring speech possible. So, our first award category, sponsored by Charles, Charles Schwab's Nashua Independent Branch, is Nonprofit of the Year. These organizations have demonstrated outstanding dedication to the greater Nashua community. We know their work makes our region safer, healthier, and happier. Let's meet the finalists. Nashua Police Athletic League's mission is to create a positive attitude between the children of Nashua and the members of the police department through PAL-sponsored sports, enrichment, recreation, leadership, and educational activities. 
They serve a growing population of youth within the city of Nashua, never letting income or ability stop participation. Nashua PAL supports neighborhood preservation efforts which strengthen overall community engagement, health, safety, and welfare for our children. I am Sean Nelson, Executive Director of the Nashua Police Athletic League, Nashua PAL. And I'm here tonight from Nashua PAL International Headquarters. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm in my basement. We're so excited to be nominated alongside our partners at the YMCA of Greater Nashua and the United Way of Greater Nashua. We love what we do every day. Our mission is connecting kids, cops, and community. We bring those elements together and watch them grow. We do this with three main pillars. Everything we do is either education, activity, or leadership. We believe strongly that youth, especially youth in tough neighborhoods, will be the leaders of their community regardless. And it's up to us and so many others to give them the right tools, the right motivations, so that our community can get stronger and stronger with every youth. We're excited about being our nominated we're excited about the work that we do, and we hope we'll see. Thank you, Sean. Our next finalist is the United Way of Greater Nashua. Their organization focuses on critical needs that affect many of us, such as healthcare, childcare, and after school programs, violence prevention, and food, clothing, and shelter. They help break the cycle of poverty and move individuals and families out of crisis and towards self sufficiency. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 edition of the Eminence Awards from the Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce. I guess this is the Zoom edition of the Eminence Awards. My name is Mike Affelberg. I'm the president of the United Way of Greater Nashua. We are being honored this year in the category of Nonprofit of the Year as a finalist. We're so excited to be in that category, and we are in really great company. We have with us the YMCA of Greater Nashua and the Nashua Police Athletic League as co-finalists. And I can tell you, regardless of who's going to win tonight, that any of those organizations, certainly the Y and, the, and PAL are fantastic organizations. We're really pleased to partner with them. Uh, we've been around for 90 years. Our focus is on health, education, and financial stability. Over the past couple of months, we've focused most of our efforts on the coronavirus response in Greater Nashua. And ironically, or interestingly, I should say, PAL and the Y have been great partners of us in helping to feed our community throughout this entire pandemic process. So thank you, everybody. Have a great evening tonight and enjoy yourselves. And we will uh, hopefully see each other again soon in person. Thank you, Mike. Our third finalist for the Nonprofit of the Year Award is the YMCA of Greater Nashua. The YMCA of Greater Nashua operates four facilities, Nashua YMCA, Merrimack YMCA, Westwood Park YMCA, and Camp Sargent. Their primary mission is to instill values and provide opportunities for lifelong personal growth and the development of a healthy spirit, mind, and body for all. They achieve this by delivering programs in childcare, camping, youth sports, teen and leadership, health and wellness, aquatics, dance, and the arts. Hi, I'm Mike Lachance. I'm the CEO for the YMCA of Greater Nashua, and I'm honored to be here today to accept on behalf of our wonderful organization, finalists as Not for Profit of the Year from the Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce. Working in the city of Nashua with so many other not-for-profits, we see the great things that are happening, and there's so many deserving organizations. And I take the two that are also finalists with us, Nashua Cal and the United Way of Greater Nashua, who do great things to make a difference, uh, both in partnership with the Y and on their own. And it truly is an honor. One of the things that I'm most proud of is the response that our staff, our volunteers, our members, Board of Trustees and Board of Directors have done in the last couple of months when the pandemic struck. We were able to launch childcare for essential workers in our community, addressing food insecurity in partnership with the United Way and the National Soup Kitchen, providing virtual learning experiences for children, wellness activities for adults, 
addressing the blood shortage through blood drives in our local community, and so much more. The ability to be responsive at a time that we are all having very difficult situations, uh, we were able to keep the organization going while the doors of our facilities were closed. I want to thank everybody for this wonderful nomination. This is the part when I wish you were all here with me. So the winner of the Eminence Awards Nonprofit of the Year goes to Nashua Pal. Congratulations to all of the staff and volunteers at Nashua Pal. And thank you again to Charles Schwab, Independent Branch of Nashua for sponsoring this award. Wow, we did it. I didn't think we stood a chance. Well, this is exciting. I want to thank the Chamber, the Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much to the nominating committee, to those that put our, our name forward. I thank you. The work we're doing is vital and we appreciate that support. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next category is Small Business of the Year and this award is sponsored by Ascend Advising. Our three finalists in this category have made deep impacts as leaders in our community with above and beyond services and thoughtful delivery of their products. Our first finalist in the Small Business of the Year category is Colin Collimore, a small law firm in Nashua with a big heart. The attorneys of the firm sit on many local and community boards and organizations, including the Nashua Soup Kitchen and the Boys and Girls Club. They also host the annual Milliard Bike Paddle Run and the proceeds support community initiatives. Hi everyone, we're Kevin, John, and Brian of Cullen Collimore Law Firm in Nashua. We are honored to be considered for the Chamber's Small Business of the Year Award. We're proud of our 12 years of serving the greater Nashua business community and the city itself in providing legal advice and counseling. Our mission's always been to support local businesses and nonprofits and invest in our community. This includes banking, sourcing locally, and serving on the boards of the Nashua Soup Kitchen and Shelter and the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua. We also created the Milliard Bike Paddle Run, a unique triathlon held every year here in Nashua that helps showcase the city's outdoor recreational opportunities. We're looking forward to the next 12 years here in Nashua, and we wish good luck to all of the nominees in tonight's event. Our next finalist is PRG Rugs of Nashua. The Persian Rug Gallery specializes in hand-knotted, power-loomed, and machine-made area rugs in all styles and types. In their inventory, you will find the highest fashion Tibetan contemporary rugs, the fine art, investment quality antiques, and everything else in between. They've called Main Street in Nashua home since 1953, and they're always participating in and supporting downtown and community events. So, can you believe it? We were nominated again for the Eminence Award. <laughs> um, we've been very fortunate to be a big part of the chamber, having both of us sat on the board there. Um, the Eminence Award is a very prestigious award that everybody that um, is nominated for it um, really would love to win and, and would love to receive. Um, Fu and I have won it once. Um, our family is entrenched in Persian Rug Gallery, which is now PRG Rugs. Uh, we are 70 years old, and I can tell you without my wife, Jan, Without Fuad, my best friend, my, my son, my partner, um, without the staff that we have, we would not be nominated for this award. Service is the only thing we sell. Um, you might think it's the rugs that you see in the window when you drive by, but it's really the level of service that we give to the community. It's the involvement with the community, like organizations like the Chamber and the Boys and Girls Club uh, and Rotary, that I think make us stand out. Um, my son's taking over the business now, and I look forward to that transition and can't wait for when he's here taking care of all of this on his own, and I can fly away to the sunset. <laughs> and we thank you very much for this honor and congratulations to the other nominees. Um, we're we're uh, really excited about it and um, and good luck to everybody, and, and hopefully we'll be able to celebrate in person soon. Thank you. Thank you. Our third finalist for Small Business of the Year Award is TS Event Productions. 
TS Event Productions is a full-service event production company based in Milford, New Hampshire. Owner Tyler Stutzi started out as a one-man show, but his business quickly grew. TS Event Productions offers lighting and set design, media logistics, filming and broadcasting, and just about anything a creative event producer might imagine for a show, concert, gala, or festival. Hello, Greater Nashville. My name is Tyler Susi. I'm the president of the TS Event Productions. I first have to say it's an incredible honor to be nominated alongside such incredible local businesses. The Nashville business community is so diverse and interesting. And as an entertainment technology provider, we've been really fortunate to be centered in the middle of all of it, being able to collaborate with different businesses from different industries uh, in all walks of life. And for me, that's been the most rewarding part of starting our company. We started four years ago, actually yesterday, four years ago as of yesterday, and uh, the growth that we experienced here in Nashua has been something bigger and better than anything I could have ever anticipated. And being able to collaborate with so many chamber members, so many local businesses and community groups has made doing business an absolute pleasure. And we're really thankful for that. So this is a great opportunity for us. And we're so thankful for the Chamber of Commerce and the national community at large. Thank you. All right, I would encourage you to clap in your homes, okay? And the winner of the Eminence Award Small Business of the Year goes to TS Event Productions. Congratulations to Tyler Susie, owner of TS Event Productions and our event producer this evening. Thank you again to Ascend Advising for sponsoring this award. First and foremost, I have to thank the National Chamber of Commerce for giving us such a great leg up when we first started our business. They're an incredible partner to have in this local community and in general, they were really supportive of our start. And I really have to thank all of the chamber members and the national community in general for welcoming us with open arms and letting us do what we do best. Um, creative collaboration is a concept that we eat, breathe and sleep every day. And without other people to do this work with, it just doesn't have, it just doesn't have the same passion and, and drive behind it. So the national community, it's passionate, it's great, and we're so lucky to be a part of it. And we really look forward to what the future holds. So our next category is Volunteer of the Year. The dedication and generosity of spirit exhibited by these individuals is exemplary, and the missions of the organizations they serve are so important to our community. The Volunteer of the Year Award is sponsored by the United Way of Greater Nashua, an organization rooted in the values represented by our three finalists. We can't imagine a more fitting sponsor for this category, so thank you. Our first finalist, Nashua Police Chief Michael Kerrigan, sits on the board at Marguerite's Place, but the sit is certainly figurative. His volunteer efforts support the organization's mission to help women with children achieve self-sufficiency by providing them with safe, stable, transitional housing, along with emotional, educational, and supportive services. Good evening. I'd like to introduce myself as Michael Kerrigan, Chief of the National Police Department. I've been nominated for this year's 2020 Volunteer of the Year Award. To be considered for this award is pretty humbling, given over the past several years how many different organizations and people I've met and watched how hard they work and how much they give to all different programs and organizations and people. It's very humbling to be even considered um, that I come close to what they offer to the city of Nashua. One of the things that I find most enjoyable about the volunteer work that I'm able to do, uh, as a police officer, we are often dealing with people in crisis. Those crises could be small or great, depending on the person and depending what their life's like. It's challenging sometimes to remain positive and to see the good in people when that's all you deal with day in, day out. Over the past five years, I've been able to work with groups like PAL, Marguerite's Place, Arlington Street Community Center, many, many others, and to be able to see the positivity and the energy that not only the volunteers bring to those folks, but the people who are being serviced and the relationships they have and the pride they take in their community. It's been very, it's been very rejuvenating for me as a, as a human and as a police officer to, to be able to recognize that uh, those, those programs are there to help people and what that means to the people. Um, so, so for me, it's important to continue to be a part of that um, as, as a person. So our next finalist for Volunteer of the Year is Lynn McGowan, a volunteer at Micro Society Academy Charter School. You may know it as MAP, a New Hampshire K through eight chartered public school. 
Through her work with their PTO, she helps empower students to acquire the knowledge and skills to thrive. Hi, my name is Lynn McGowan. I'm PTO president at Micro Society Academy Charter School, where my son will be entering third grade this fall. Go Falcons! I've been nominated for Volunteer of the Year. It's such an honor. It's an honor not only because I am in good company with the two other finalists, but it's also an honor because I love doing what I do at the school. It allows me to contribute to early childhood education, which is something that I'm truly passionate about. My favorite thing about working at the school is seeing the kids have so much fun at the different events that we put together as a group. The events are fundraising opportunities, but also, and probably more importantly, a chance for all the families and community to come together and get to know each other. Meeting the other families is the second favorite thing that I get to do while volunteering at the school. The parents are also equally dedicated to making Max the best place that it can possibly be. The third finalist is Dr. Robert Oot, a volunteer and supporter of Symphony New Hampshire. He has volunteered as interim executive director during the search for a new ED and has spent endless hours and resources in a two year music director search strategic planning, staff professional development, board committee meetings, and meetings with musicians in communities and individually. His nominator said, Bob remains behind the scenes and most people are not aware of how much time and effort he gives to the arts in Nashua. We can't imagine where Symphony New Hampshire would be today without Bob's support and involvement. And the winner of the Eminence Awards Volunteer of the Year goes to Nashua Police Chief Michael Kerrigan for his volunteer work at Marguerite's Place of Nashua. Congratulations, Chief Kerrigan, and thank you again to the United Way of Greater Nashua for sponsoring this award. I'd really like to take a minute to thank the folks at Nashua Pal, Marguerite's Place, Arlington Street Community Center, My Brother's Keeper, and many of the other organizations in Nashua that are non-for-profit uh, that service everybody and they give so much of their time and energy uh, for, very little, for very little rewards. Um, so I really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank Lynn McGowan and Robert Ott for their nominations as well. The work that you do in the community and the assistance you give is very amazing. Thank you very much. All right, let's meet the Business of the Year finalists. These businesses have demonstrated outstanding dedication to the greater Nashua community and have made major contributions to their industries. Our first finalist is Boston Billiard Club and Casino of Nashua. Once a small chain of clubs around New England, Boston Billiard Club and Casino reinvented itself in 2016 and opened a portion of the business as a charitable gaming facility. They are incredibly proud of the $6 million raised via charitable gaming going to local nonprofits in just over three years. I'm Kurt Mathias. I'm president and owner of Boston Billiard Club and Casino here in Nashua. I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for nominating us for Business of the Year. Uh, I'd like to talk about our business a little bit here. Four years ago, we had 35 employees and we have close to 170 today. We're happy to be reopened after the COVID-19 crisis that's going on in the world today. Uh, the greatest part of working here is working with absolutely the most phenomenal Group of people that I've ever had the pleasure of working with and working with some of the nonprofits that are here in Nashua. 35% of everything that is generated in the casino is given directly to 501c3 nonprofits from New Hampshire. In the last three years since we've opened up charitable gaming in New Hampshire, we've raised over six million dollars for 501c3 charities. Charities like Home Healthcare and Hospice and the Boys and Girls Club, the United Way of Greater Nashua, CASA, so many different charities and see the amount of money that, that is generated that helps those charities. The Micro Society Academy here in Nashua was able to build a new playground with the charitable money that they receive from us. Uh, all the different things, they're, they're what make the world go round. Thanks again for the nomination, for being nominated Business of the Year. We're in great company. We're surrounded by other great businesses here in Nashville. Thank you. 
Our next finalist is St. Joseph Hospital, a regional full service healthcare system serving the greater Nashua area, Western New Hampshire and Northern Massachusetts. Their mission is centered around four core values, compassion, integrity, collaboration, and excellence. While delivering exceptional care and services, St. Joseph Hospital also prioritizes community support efforts by hosting annual fundraisers and drives for area nonprofits. Hi, this is John Jersick, president of St. Joseph Hospital in Nashua, and we are very excited to have been nominated for the Large Business Award for the Eminence uh, Recognition uh, by the Greater Nashua Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've been an asset of the Greater Nashua community for over 112 years. Uh, we have um, like to think that we're a partner in addressing the health care needs of the community. And with that, we have uh, really very proud of some of our marquee collaborations with Project Search, uh, offering job training opportunities for interns, um, offering a 24-7 midwifery program as an obstetrical choice for our uh, families in the Nashua area. And recently we became designated as an age-friendly uh, unit by the American Hospital Association and the Institute of Healthcare Improvement for our inpatient rehab care. I think the thing that um, you know that I, uh, I as the leader of this organization enjoy the most is looking at opportunities where we can collaborate with the business community as well as the nonprofit community to offer enhanced services to the residents of the area. All right, our third finalist is Optiline Enterprises of Nashua. They bring high volume residential building and retail exterior experience to their business combined with family values. Those values have inspired Optiline Enterprises to create a recovery friendly workplace and incorporate veteran outreach programs into their company culture. Their nominator said, Optiline has dedicated their free time to volunteer work, community programs and veteran outreach. There's no one more dedicated to the social foundation, nor the required values to inspire an entire community. And the winner of the Eminence Awards Business of the Year for 2020 goes to Optiline Enterprises of Nashua. Congratulations, Optiline. Now for the final category of the 2020 Eminence Awards Young Professional of the Year sponsored by Morneau Law of Nashua. The finalists in this category demonstrate dedication to the greater Nashua community, show strong leadership and entrepreneurial qualities, and are significant contributors to their organizations. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Our first finalist is Ashley Fidala, the Assistant Development Director at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua. As the manager of the major fundraising events for the club, Ashley has elevated the programs, built new audiences, and achieved record-breaking results. She works well with her volunteer committees, organizing logistics, and keeping the planning and sponsorship solicitations on track. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Fidella, and I'm the Assistant Development Director at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua. I'm honored to be a finalist for Young Professional of the Year alongside Allie and Graham. Having worked with both of them in the past, I truly admire their commitment to the Nashua community and the organizations they're involved with. Through my work at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua, I've had the opportunity to work with and get to know some pretty incredible individuals and organizations. I've found that many of these people have worked for years to make Nashua a better place to live, work, and do business. I love working in this community that is so invested in working together, supporting one another, and constantly striving to do better. As a young professional, I strive to continue that work every day. It's my goal to provide the youth of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua positive experiences to grow so that one day they'll be reminded that their community is worth giving back to. I'm proud to work for an organization that encourages not only me but many of our staff to get involved in the community to play our part in bettering Nashua however we can. Our next finalist in this category is Allison Isaacson, an Assistant Vice President Commercial Lending Officer at Enterprise Bank's Main Street location. In this role, she's an effective resource for the local small business community in attaining their financial goals, and she contributes to the vibrancy and growth of Nashua, her hometown. 
Her dedication to the community extends beyond her work as she is involved in many nonprofits and organizations locally like Positive Street Art, Yugo Young Professionals Network, and City Arts Nashua. My name is Allison I. Saxon. I'm a commercial lender for Enterprise Bank in downtown Nashville. I'm a finalist for the Young Professional of the Year Award. I am truly honored for the recognition to be a finalist in this category. Nashua is a very near and dear place to my heart as being a native here. It's a vibrant city with the rich in connections of great people and experiences I'd love to share with others. I love to be involved and give back in a meaningful way to both the business and the nonprofit sector. I try to aim to be a person I'd like to meet and lead by example for other young professionals to stay, work, and play here at Nashville. What I love most about what I do is building relationships in the business community. I like to help guide businesses of all different varieties of industries and sizes to make smart financial choices in regards to their lending needs. I love being part of their business journey to success. Our third finalist in the Young Professional of the Year category is Grant Morris, the founder and executive producer of New Sky Productions. New Sky Productions was founded in 2009 and has grown into a team of eight. Starting this year, the company is making a point to affordably structure video production to increase access for smaller businesses and nonprofits. Dirty here. Oh, hello. I almost didn't see you there. I'm Grant Morris, and welcome to New Sky Productions. I'm really proud to be nominated for Young Professional of the Year this year, along with two really good friends, Allie and Ashley. Really lucky to have such a really great group of young, hardworking people here in Nashua, and I'm proud to be among them. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk to you about how proud I am of our company. New Sky Productions was started from the ground with nothing. In fact, less than nothing. Today, we've got eight of the hardest working, most intelligent people that we could possibly find, and they're doing amazing work, making our company even better today than it was the day that we started. I'm really proud of them. And the winner of the Eminent Awards Young Professional of the Year goes to Grant Morris, congratulations, Grant, and thank you again to Morno Law for sponsoring this award. Just to thank a couple of people for helping us get here, I want to thank my wife first and foremost, Caitlin. She's been sounding board, she's been a comforter, she's been one to encourage and, and inspire me every day, and I appreciate her. I want to thank my parents. Obviously, they have uh, they have always invested strongly in me and my education and me as a person and I love you very much mom and dad and I appreciate you and um, I want to thank the chamber the chamber's been an amazing organization to be a part of for almost the last 10 years and I can say wholeheartedly that without the chamber we would not be the organization that we are today so again, congratulations to all of our winners this evening. We'll be in touch shortly to coordinate the delivery of your awards. We did talk internally about kind of doing the Ed McMahon style, showing up at your door as we announced them, but um, it would have been a lot of coordination given all of the finalists to try and make that happen. So we will be in touch with you about that. I'd also like to congratulate all the finalists and thank everyone for working with us to put this program together creatively. Thank you to the judges who volunteered their time and thoughtful consideration to read through all of these nominations and to everyone who nominated candidates for the 2020 Eminence Award. Thank you to Rebecca Hamilton of Badger for a fantastic, uplifting and inspiring keynote speech. And thank you again to our sponsors this evening, Oracle, Eastern Bank, Enterprise Bank, TS Event Productions, Acapella Technologies, Ascend Advising, Charles Schwab Independent Branch of Nashua, Morneau Law, and the United Way of Greater Nashua. The Eminence Awards would not be possible without your support. And thank you for joining us this evening. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay cool, stay safe, and remember that the Nashua Chamber of Commerce is here for you. Thank you.